How to double your income now. No nonsense blueprint of how to grow your wealth. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. So if you're somebody who is stuck financially, you hit this plateau, it's time to smash through by doubling your income. And this is not just to have a goal, it's talking about making it your reality. So forget about like this wishful thinking of like, yeah, I hope one day, some days, not this, you know, one day type of thing. We're talking about action and results here. So let's get into this. We're gonna be talking about how to leverage every tool in your arsenal, pushing back against you know, different things that you've been doing in your life, these bad habits, these, these traditional income strategies that maybe are very limited, but you wanna grow, you want something more. You're like, Richard, I, I don't wanna be stuck right here. I want more, but what? So if you're ready to begin to learn some new things, let's get into this. Now, here's the deal. With the cost of living, that's constantly rising, you see this, right? Every year, the cost of living gets higher and higher. And this is why you see a lot of people, especially here in California, a lot of people are, they're, they're leaving. And, and especially because like oh, taxes and all these things that it makes it hard to make money and create this financial freedom. So a lot of people are going to other places, other states where the taxes are lower. They call them the tax refugees, right? They're like running, they're getting away from how California is when it comes to taxes. So there's a lot of different things, tax and inflation that begins to destroy the, the wealth that you and I are beginning to build for our family and for our future. So we see the, the cost of living rising annually and usually on the average of two to 3% across the US. So your income needs to do more than just keeping up. It needs to, to outpace the inflation that's happening. See, less than 40% of Americans feel confident they're on the track to meet their retirement saving goals. So out of 10 people, about three of them feel some type of clarity about their, their savings, but most people don't. So it's time to change this. I'm gonna give you a three-step attack, a plan of attack for you to get out of this plateau, for you to break into something new when it comes to financial, okay? We're gonna talk about these three things. One, about how to grow in your career. So the career catalyst. This is about you focusing on propelling what you already have, the career or business that you're already doing, that you're already in. How can you grow it? How can you propel your earnings in the area that you're already growing in, already where you're creating income? How can you grow there? The second thing is, okay, let's, now that you have this going, let's create another income. Let's create a side hustle, right? This is turning your skills and into additional income streams. That's number two. Number three, we're going to be talking about a strategic insurance investment that I'm going to share with you, how to leverage life insurance for growing your wealth. This is something that a lot of people don't know about, so I'm really excited about sharing this to, to show you this other option that's very secure, stable, and for sure you're going to be winning um, with a long-term investment mindset. So let's talk about this. Number one, career catalyst. Okay, so right now, whether it's a business or the you know, the employee that you work for, how can we grow there? How can you bring more value there? How can you get a raise? How can you get a bonus? How can you begin to, you know, grow in that area? So let's, let's have some kind of catalyst here, some kind of shift when it comes to your career. See, your career is your financial backbone, right? So let's, let's strengthen it. So let's do these three things. Number one, negotiate relentlessly. So do you know that only a fraction of employees negotiate their salary? So even those who typically see a 10 to 20% increase, I want you to begin to document your achievements. Okay, show the value that you're bringing, how you're helping the, the company make money, save money, understand what's going on in the market with your role, the responsibilities that you have, look for how you can take on more responsibilities, how you can build your skill sets your knowledge, like this is where you need to go and learn some other things, even off the clock where you have more skills to bring more value to bring to the table, right? So if you're going to put yourself, position yourself to, to negotiate, to get a higher salary or a bonus, then you need to make sure that you have something to show for it. Not just how much time that you've been there. It's not just like, oh, I've been here for, you know, two years. So, you know, can I get a bonus or can I get a raise? It's not based on how much time, especially if, You've been there for two years and you're still doing exactly the same thing. Think about it. 
does that make you look good or bad? Does that make you in a position where it's like, wow, I want to pay you more because it, out of these two years, you stood in the same place and you're doing the same thing and you haven't grown. Wow, yeah, let me pay you more. It doesn't make sense. So I want you to set your mind right when it comes to, okay, how am I going to grow in my career? You have to negotiate your salary in order to grow and in order to negotiate, you have to have numbers. You have to have how you're tracking your achievements. You have to show the value that you're bringing to that company to be able to, to show, hey, I am worth more. And this is where you become a valuable asset and they see all the value that you're bringing and they're not going to want to lose you. So they're willing to invest more in you. Again, it's not because the time you invested, it's because then the, the value that you bring. So learn how to negotiate relentlessly. Number two, upscale strategy. Upscale, not upscale, upscale. So the digital economy is now evolving, right? So with tech skills, you know, different softwares, this is a lot of times it's commanding a higher premium because this is a skill set that's needed. So invest in areas like data analysis, digital marketing, or coding. You know, these are things that you can see more value in the job that you're doing. This will help you. So this helps job market skyrocket even as much as 50%. When you start to learn these skill sets, when it comes to technology, softwares, like right now there's a bunch of that AI coming out, right? So a lot of companies don't want to fall behind because they've learned with social media already. They learned with internet. Like people were resisting internet. No, this is the devil. It's not going to take over things. I'm old school. And then all of a sudden the people who didn't, they went down in business. They lost. The people who shifted and, and embraced it blew up, right? And used it. Yeah, it can be used for negative things, but we're talking about positive things growing our wealth. So even when it comes to you upgrading your skill sets, thinking, okay, what's, what's needed out there in the market? What's valuable? And right now in the digital uh, economy, how everything's changing, it's all skills, technology, it's all, you know, these type of things, data, marketing, build your skill sets there. And you'll see how you're building your value in that company. And then begin to expand. This is number three, expand your network. Up to 80% of jobs are never advertised, but filled through networking. Think about that. So broaden your professional circle. Start to build relationships, even through events, online forums, LinkedIn. You never know the opportunities that begin to create, but expand your network. So if you want to build your career, if you want to expand your career, you got to also expand your network. See, now that we have this going on, okay, now that you're focused on what you have, you're being responsible, because there is a scripture that says, God will give you more. Like, whenever you're faithful with what you have, He'll, be, he'll make you master over much. So if you're taking care of what you have, you'll be blessed with more because you can handle more. So when it comes to you and your career, making, make sure that you're mastering your career. The things, the responsibilities that you have there, make sure you're doing really well there. You're showing up on time. You're bringing good energy, good attitude. You're bringing value. You're not just dis, you know hiding behind a computer or a calendar. Like You're there. Hey, I'm here. I'm here to help. Teamwork. Bring the value. Like, master this. Now we can go to the next part. Now we can go into, okay, my, my career is starting to build. Now let me multiply my income by creating some kind of side hustle. Now, if you already have a side hustle, awesome. Let's talk about how to maybe even, you know, optimize it right now. But let's talk about a side hustle, bringing another stream of income. Now, when you want to di diversify your income, this is something that's really valuable because as we've seen, especially with the pandemic, you never know things that happen in the world. And you don't want to just be banking only on one stream. You want to have multiple streams of income to, to be a blessing for your family, for your future. So if something happens here, you have something else going on that you can focus and keep going. And it's not about just the, the extra cash. It's about financial resilience. It's not just about the extra cash. Like, oh, I don't really need the extra cash, Richard. I'm talking about financial foundation, strength, resilience. So if something hits you hard, if something comes, you have another stream of income coming so you're not hit so hard, right? So here are the three things here. Number one, identify lucrative markets. So if you want to create another stream of income, where do I start, Richard? Well, first see what's out there that's booming 
that you can do freelance, right? That you can do separately, that you can do after work, that you can do on the weekend, something that is very lucrative, that is not in competition to your work. Because if, if, if it's in competition and now it shows like you're, you're going against the business, if that makes sense. And that can create an issue with you and your career as well. So these are things to think about when you're identifying, okay, what can I do on the side here? I want to make sure it doesn't conflict with what I'm doing, but not something so out there either that I don't, I don't even get it, right? So I want you to think about this. When it comes to even like the freelancing, it's something that's really big, um, especially right now after the pandemic. A lot of people want to be more remote. They want to it opened up all these other side things because people were getting creative on how to create income. So the pandemic really changed a lot of things in the market. And when it comes to the freelancing, like it really blew it up where it's now contributing over 1.2 trillion to the U.S. economy. Think about that. Freelancing business and jobs has now brought, contributed over 1.2 trillion to the U.S. economy. That's how much has been blowing up. So pinpoint a need in the skill set that you have. So if you're good at writing, design, digital marketing, video, um, marketing expansion or sales, whatever it is, learn those things, right? And, and figure out what you're going to be good at so you can bring value to that to some clients, solve some problems. Now you can start to generate a side hustle, another income. Okay, so, okay, now I know a lucrative, you know, um, business opportunity, right? So now I'm going to choose. So now that I have one, let's say, I know for, for us, we actually have an opportunity. If you're looking for a, a side hustle, we have a life insurance agency. And you can do this remotely anywhere in the United States, right? You can do it in all 50 states remotely. And with us, with Adriana's Insurance, we have so many leads from over these 30 years, for one, for, from current clients, our current database. But every day, thousands of people coming through our 50 offices, all of our marketing. You know, we have so many events going on, all these things to generate leads. So when you're in our agency, you not only get the training, you not only, we help you with the onboarding, help you get appointed with the carriers. We have access to over 80 of the top rated carriers. We not only give you, you know, great commissions and bonuses, right? Not only that, not only do we help you with trainings, but we also give you clients. We have a whole lead program where we have people setting appointments for you. So if you're somebody who is busy and you're like, Richard, man, another side hustle, Whew, okay, yeah, I thought about these things, but I'm so busy and I have a family and all these things going on. We, we created our program for the busy person. We have people who are calling the leads on your behalf, setting appointments for our agents. You just open up the calendar on the times that you want to work, and then we have people setting appointments for you. We train you to be able to help you know, educate the client and close them. So if you're looking for another stream of income that is, has purpose to it, that makes good money, message me and we can talk. I can share with you. I can answer any questions, see if we match, if we fit for each other, because it's not for everybody. But man, it's, it's an amazing way that has a lot of flexibility, a lot of income opportunity to create a strive, uh, uh, an extra stream of income. Okay. So now that you choose, whether it's with the life insurance with us or whatever else it is, guess what you need to do next? You need to brand and market. Now, if you come and work with us, obviously we have a brand with Adriana's Insurance. It's been around for over 30 years and everybody in Southern California knows like everybody's like, oh, we see you everywhere. So because we've done branding for that long, right? But in any business, any, whether even if it's just a small side hustle or some, any business at any level needs brand and market marketing going on. You need, you need to, people need to know about you. You need to get attention like, hey, and you need to do it effectively and do it consistently, right? This is building business. It is not easy. It's you have to get, you can have the best product, the best, the best service. But if people don't know about it, they're not going to buy. People are going to buy from those who are known more than actually the best. They buy from the most known, not the best. So you need to brand and market effectively. So personal branding can elevate your side hustle from just a hobby to something that can really create some good income for you. A solid online presence. Social media is a great way to get out there, right? You can start consistently marketing, putting posts. This can increase your visibility, getting attention and income by over 30%. By over 30%. So you picking a side hustle 
and starting to brand and market effectively. Getting visibility to what you're doing and what you're offering can have an income potential of over 30%. Yes, that's good, yes? So now let's get to the next part. Okay, now I'm doing this. Now I pick something. Now I'm getting attention. So now let's start to scale and grow smartly. Let's be smart about this. Especially because we have a career going on. Most of us have family. We have all these things on our plate. So we want to do it strategically so we don't burn out. Right? We're not overwhelmed. We're not like, ah, I'm not even enjoying this anymore. We want to scale smartly. So scaling your side hustle into a sustainable business can be, it, it could double. It could even triple your overall income if you do it right. So focus on scalability from the start. So when you're going to pick something, pick something that is important. There's a lot of value to it, right? People are looking for there's demand. Um, pick something that is going to be scalable. Like it's not just like you don't have to just put a bunch of time in it. Like it only grows if you put more time. That's not scalable. You want it scalable to where you can automate things. You can invest in automation tools. You can delegate tasks. That way you can maximize your revenue and your time together. It has to be scalable. Right. So, of course, from there, you have to get into your hiring people, training them, giving them standard operating procedures. There's a whole other training in that. And I do have other trainings for for leadership and for sales. So you guys can check those out. But right now we're just talking about how you can start to build this financial resilience. Right. This is you creating another stream of income. So identify a market where you're going to go, where there's, it's, there's value there. Start to get attention to it, market and brand it. And then, of course, start to scale strategically. All right, so now what? All right, so now we've built our career. We're focused there. We're doing really well. We create another stream of income. We picked, you know, uh, the kind of business. We, we started to get attention to it. So we're starting to scale. Now what do we do next? So now we're starting to create this more income, right? So we got to now strategically invest it. The money that we're creating, this extra income, we want to put it into a place, into an account where it keeps to grow. It works for us. You work for the money, but now you didn't get money to work for you. You don't want lazy money. Hey, you worked hard for it. You're putting your time, your effort, you're sacrificing yourself, putting your time, working to generate income for your family. So you don't want to put this money that you worked hard for into a place where it's just being lazy and not doing anything for your future. No. You want to put your money where it's going to grow for you, yes or no? Yeah, so life insurance is a really great tool for this. So I'm going to share with you some different things that will show you, because a lot of people don't know this. So I, I feel like I even need to like convince you, because people are so ignorant when it comes to life insurance and how to use it for building wealth. So number one, cash value policies. This is a very, very powerful thing that you need to understand when it comes to life insurance policy. See, there's some policies that have this savings account that's attached to it that is non-taxed. Did you hear that? It's not taxed. See, 401k is tax deferred. 401k, a lot of times people are thinking like, oh, this is really good for my future, for my retirement. It's not the best. I'm telling you right now, 401k is 401 not okay. It is not the best. So many people get tricked into thinking, okay, now my family is safe because I have this 401k. It's deferred tax. By the time that, that you're going to use it, you think the taxes are going to be higher or lower. If you look at the pattern of life, is the taxes going higher or lower every year? So if you knew for sure with certainty that taxes were going to be higher later, would you rather pay taxes now or later? Uh, Richard, uh, I'd rather pay it now if it's going to be more later. Okay, yes, but not everybody is doing this, especially when you look at the 401k, it's tax deferred. And you're saving up in this to this account, so now you have a bigger lump sum to tax. They usually take over like 50, 60% of what you've been building over your life for your retirement is now gone. It's not the best place to put your money. You see, in these places, with the cash value policies, there is no tax. So now you start to leverage these and it'll provide not only protection for if something were to happen to you, like if, if you were to die, it has a death benefit, but it also has another benefit to where it's, it's, it's accumulating cash for you. And then you can pull it out, withdraw it tax-free 
and it's a loan on yourself, but there is a low interest rate and they keep it in an account that produces at the same, the same level. So it kind of washes out and now you start to grow and, and your wealth. You start contributing to your financial flexibility and growth by having a policy like this. I'm telling you, there's, and there's a lot more components, a lot more value, benefits, features that go with these type of products. I'm not going to get into those details. If you're interested, you can message me and we can get on a 15 minute consultation for free. And I can, I can show you actual numbers. I can show you on my screen of what these type of policies can do for you, your family, and for your future. Not just protecting them, but also growing your wealth for your future. Number two, when it comes to these policies, not only do you have this ability to grow it, you have the tax advantages, right? So the life insurance proceeds are generally income tax free beneficiaries. So the money that's growing, it's in these, these whole life or universal life. This is tax free guys, like I was saying before. So you have tax advantages here. All right. So now number three, estate planning and wealth transfer. See, life insurance plays a pivotal role for estate planning as well. There's these, these pieces, these things that you can use when it comes to life insurance that build wealth transfer while minimizing tax implications. So it's a good tool for safeguarding your financial legacy, for ensuring that your wealth benefits, your benefits your loved ones according to your wishes. You know, so estate planning is something like, like a will all these things. So you're able to put this into the, build it into your life insurance policies to where it's very clear on where this money is going, how, how much to who, how it's going to be broken down. This is, these policies have the estate and wealth planning built into it. All right. So now we talked about how to turbocharge, build your career and begin to create this, you know, side hustle. So you can start to generate more money and start to get your money and put it into a place where it starts to grow, right? Where you start to utilize these different aspects like the tax-free, you know, these different elements to these products that help you to win financially. So it's more than just these little shifts, these little steps. It's a fundamental life-changing thing of all these habits that are gonna help you to take control of your financial destiny. So here's the action plan. Start by setting a meeting to negotiate your salary and identify a skill that you can begin to upgrade and begin to launch or even scale, if you already launched it, your side hustle this month. It's time to get serious, it's time to get focused so you can create some financial freedom for yourself. Again, if you're looking for any kind of consultation on these different products that, I, that we have here that help you to, to grow your wealth and with all these other benefits, let me know. Message me below, comment, let me know what you learned here because it's not just about you know, these, these little changes, it's really about doubling your income. It's about changing your life, your lifestyle. So if you want more information on this, please message me, let me know. I'll answer you. If there's any other topics that you want to learn, let me know and I can create topics around that. But besides that, bless you and all that you're doing. And then we'll see you in the next video.